This is a short audio description introduction to a video about arts charity Southeast Dance. The video lasts for three minutes and there's speaking throughout, in the form of interviews with people who have been supported by, worked with, or engaged with the work of Southeast Dance. A variety of people give interviews for the video. Rose Kigwana, senior producer at Southeast Dance, introduces us to the charity. She's a middle-aged black woman with short afro-textured hair and a chunky wood bead necklace. Among the other interviewees are dance artist Leah Abdu Issa, a young black woman with waist-length red hair and braids, and choreographer Charlotte Spencer, a white woman in her 30s with piercing blue eyes. We also meet Claire Godsill and Pearl Miyaki, two members of the Kickstart placement scheme at Southeast Dance, Tracy Fernley-Jones, the manager of the Puffing Community Nursery in Brighton and Hove, and Rupert Henser, manager of the Brookmead Extra Care Scheme in Brighton and Hove. Images from the huge variety of dance activities that Southeast Dance has supported or brought to life appear alongside the interviews. The dance activities vary in scale, from a solo performance in front of a seated audience, to a large crowd stamping and spinning in the open air, to a community group dancing the conga surrounded by balloons. Some dance performances are choreographed. A company in colourful tunics squat and swing their arms in unison. Others are facilitated by a teacher who guides a group. Leah Abdu Issa's braids whip around as she jogs and bounces in front of a crowd of participants who watch and copy her movements. The video shows people from many backgrounds being brought together by dance and movement. There are a range of cultures. In a traditional Indian dance, women twirl in long turquoise and orange skirts, stamping their bare feet in anklets made of bells. Some of the dancers have disabilities. A man in a wheelchair performs a duet with an able-bodied woman. They tango together, and she grips the inner rim of his wheel and rolls across the floor, directed by his path. The whole spectrum of age is represented. Young children dive into a flurry of white crepe paper and pairs in their 70s, 80s and 90s sway together in ballroom dance holds. The video shows the dance space, Brighton and Hove's first building created especially for dance. It's a striking rectangular building, made of silver metal panels. Windows of various sizes are irregularly scattered across its face. A spiral staircase, its railing a bright ribbon of orange, runs up the right-hand side. At the end, Southeast Dance thank their sponsors. Arts Council England, Brighton and Hove City Council, Esme Fairbairn Foundation, the Paul Hamlin Foundation, and many more. This introduction is by Tim Nefebert for Vocalise. Southeast Dance is an arts charity that works with dance artists and supports them throughout their careers and we work with people of all ages and abilities to encourage more people to get dancing. Right at the heart of South East Dance is this idea that dance is for everybody. I find working with South East Dance being a really supportive experience in the sense that they really helped me to get uh, that platform that I always wanted to have uh, on a bigger scale. I'm Charlotte Spencer and I work as a choreographer and a dance artist and a teacher. Over the last like 10, 12 years, South East Dance have done this amazing job of supporting me in loads of different ways, um, whether that's through small commissions, connecting me with other organisations that might be interested to support my work. I've come full circle with South East Dance from the very beginnings of being, me being matched with a mentor right through to me mentoring young artists myself right now. I find working with South East Dance to be enlightening. Great to know that there's so much that I can do with dance. We do a lot of work with young people at South East Dance and that includes offering them opportunities to perform and also meet other young people and see other young people's performances as well. South East Dance has brought a range of opportunities and experiences that the children here would never have had the chance to, to have. We also work hand in hand with care homes, nurseries, youth and community centres to create the kind of dance opportunities they want to take part in. South East Dance have been 
absolutely amazing in what they've given us, what they've given our residents, and it's, it's been a real partnership. South East Dance are also the driving force behind Brighton & Hove's first ever purpose-built dance house, The Dance Space. The Dance Space is for everyone, it's for dance artists and it's also for people who live in Brighton & Hove and beyond for them to come and take part in dance. It's really important to us that we work with the local people that live here around the dance space on the doorstep because we want to make sure the building feels like it belongs to them, to their community and that we're part of their community. Fantastic! Definitely more inspired to do dance. We really couldn't ask for more 